Ghetto youth, tired of the constant political infighting, banded together in a mammoth reggae concert for peace. It ended with Prime Minister Michael Manley and opposition leader Edward Sayaga on stage, shaking hands in an appeal for peace. The man responsible for it all, they say, was Bob Marley. Bob, you've been labeled a powerful political individual. How do you regard that? Well, I mean, yeah, we was like, we try for my career to bring peace, knowing that we really can't solve a problem with a war, you know? It doesn't really solve a problem, you know, feel like really killing someone. Going, Whose problem am I going to solve when I kill someone? You know what I mean? So I figured the peace is the best thing. And that's why I go ahead and work with it, because it was a spiritual thing that happened. But isn't what you need some sort of social, legislative change? The economic conditions are bad. You have a lot of people who are unemployed. What's really going to happen now is that we don't really want the island to change. We want the world to change. And his music is how he gets his message across. Rastafarianism is very popular in Jamaica, yet in Canada and the United States it has a bad reputation. People are associated with drugs and the trafficking of marijuana and violence, police yeah, arrest. Man, them crucified Christ, remember? Christ was a Christian and them crucified Christ, same is not a, what no, it is. No, but let's go back to the facts. People have been arrested and the Rastafarians in Toronto, for example, have but a I mean, very bad reputation. When I, I mean, you know, I would say, I wouldn't say that the Rastafarians have a bad reputation. I would say people give the Rastafarians bad reputation because the Rastafarians, I mean, you know, I mean, all of these things happening before the Rastafarians even start coming to Canada anyway around here. <laughs> but, but the things that are very obvious are things like the way you look, Right? To most people who are very conservative in dress, you look quite strange. Plus the fact that you advocate smoking yeah, marijuana. Yeah, I think this. I'll show you this now. Could they tell God that it's not legal? No, but you're... They couldn't tell God that have, it's not legal. You have a very strong religious belief, but other people don't necessarily share that. And what they see are the obvious things. And isn't it, in fact, true that many Jamaican people get involved in the trafficking of marijuana and therefore get the bad reputation associated with Rastafarians? People get trafficking. You see, we're really, I don't really know anything about those parts of life. You know, All I know about is Rastafari, you know, and try bringing this truth to the people. What do people do with them life? I don't really know about that. I know about my own. Okay, what is your own? What's your music my own to you? Is my own, my, my music to me. The music is more than music to me. It go further than music, you know. It go with, with I don't know, it further than music. But you used it as a, a strong message. I mean, words like a hungry man music is an use, angry man. Yeah, the music used me. What do you do with the money that you make? Do you take it back to Jamaica? Do you give it to the people? I give it away. You give all your money away? All the time, yeah. How do you survive? Oh, Rastafari is God. How do you feel the people of Jamaica see you as a musician? See me? The people of Jamaica now see me. We show the people of Jamaica Rastafari. No, no, no. Do they like you? If the people like me, yeah, the people love I. The people love I. The people make I. 